Hi everyone, I hope you're all well. I've put together a little video to show how you can use Cartoon Animator and After Effects as an idle pipeline to create broadcast quality children's animations in the same genre as Peppa Pig, Hey Dougie, and lots of other hugely successful shows. First of all, let me give you a bit of information about my background. I've worked in home entertainment for 15 plus years in both the US and the UK and worked on projects for Warner Brothers, Disney, BBC, Paramount and many other studios. The most time of which being at Abbey Home Media in the UK. Abbey Home Media were the UK's leading independent home entertainment company specialising in children's content, both live action and animation. At Abbey Home Media, I worked as product manager for lots of well-known children's shows, such as Care Bears, Topsy and Tim, Peter Rabbit, Sooty, Horrid Henry, Fireman Sam, and many more. Working on these brands gave me a good understanding on what children want, what needs to be included, and what works. Over the video, I will talk about character design and stories, the software I use, how to create characters, plugins, and a little overview. Of course, the design of your characters need to fit the branding of your show and suit the target audience. Everything I make is for preschool children. So for characters, I tend to keep them colorful, um, use bold colors. Sometimes soft pastels can, of course, work too. Um, have big eyes, um, which are a great way to show expressions. Um, shapes, have a lot of shapes. It keeps the character simple looking and it works really well, I think. Um, don't over design, especially the backgrounds. Try and keep the characters simple, but keep the background even simpler. This way they stand out a bit more. Um, my top tip is to include something on the characters to make them more unique. For example, there are lots of shows with rabbits and bears in them. Um, they uh, all tend to start to look a bit similar. However, if you add something, even a button on a jumper, then the character starts to have a little more character, which in turn makes them unique and also stand out from the crowd a little bit more. For the stories, um, key things to try and include in the stories are educational elements, have learning in it, um, make keep them fun, have friendship and empathy as well. These always seem to be a popular combination for children and parents too. If you're making a show for broadcasters, broadcasters do have varied length, but for preschool, unless it's something like In the Night Garden or Teletubbies, which are usually 20 plus minutes long, um, episodic series for preschools usually range from 5 to 11 minutes long and 7 minutes being the sweet spot. Even though I've managed lots of brands, I'd always wanted to make an animated series of my own. A quick Google search will show you that there is a wide selection of animation software available for both PC and Mac. However, Cartoon Animator for me is absolutely the best and I'll explain why shortly. Um, although I've used After Effects over 15 years, the character rigging, Duick, joysticks and sliders and animates have always confused me. Everyone would say how easy they were to use and I'm sure they are, but for me, I just couldn't get them to work correctly. Then via a Facebook ad, I found Religion. The reason why I think Cartoon Animator is by far the best software is simple. It's easy to use, it's user friendly, it's got universal character skeletons, which makes it easy to rig, it's got a smooth pipeline, it's got ready-made motions, it's got free templates, and there are lots of tutorials which are lifesavers. Cartoon Animator has a pipeline where you can easily rig mostly in the design process using the universal character skeletons, and it's easy to understand. The pipeline between Photoshop and Cartoon Animator is simple and very versatile. For example, you can take one character and easily update your design to make additional characters. Um, make sure you label everything correctly, all the images have to relate to bones, for example, but it does mean you can whip up a series of characters in no time. In short, it takes away a lot of technical confusion and keeps it creative and fun. Cartoon Animator can most definitely be used to produce broadcast quality content. I will be using it to develop a potential reboot of an old UK TV series. Um, it's top secret at the moment, but I'll give you more information about that soon. I'm not an animator. Yep, that's true. I love designing content for children, coming up with stories and brands, but I can't animate. Well, I can't animate that well anyhow. But with Cartoon Animator, that's no problem at all. The reason being, there are lots of ready-made motions which you can use and have an animated sequence in no time. You can, of course, keyframe your own motions or use motion capture with motion capture suits, but 
One of the beautiful things about Cartoon Animator is the ability to use ready-made motions, which can be easily be retargeted to different characters, each with its own different body shape. You can simply import your character, go to animation, and choose one of the ready-made motions and your characters come to life. You can also buy lots of animation packs from Real Legion's website. And if you do, it's really well, really money well spent. I highly recommend Real Legion's packs as well as the Stanley animation packs, which are fantastic. Um, as mentioned earlier, I've used After Effects for many, many years. And it was really great when Real Legion added the plugin where you can export your animations from Cartoon Animator to After Effects. And this for me made a dream workflow. I really do love the animation pipeline between Photoshop, Cartoon Animator, and After Effects, as it makes the process very flexible. The pipeline I use is, I design in Photoshop, I animate in Cartoon Animator, and then export the project to After Effects via the plugin to do the final compositing. This makes the workflow quick, easy, and creative. In short, Cartoon Animator is user-friendly, easy to use, designs can easily be updated to quickly create multiple characters, Ready-made motions can have you animated sequences in no time, and you have the flexibility to comp your scene in the software or export it to After Effects for additional compositing. All of this means you can easily create broadcast quality children's content in no time. Right out of the box, Cartoon Animator comes with a selection of templates, um, humans and animal characters. My main tip here is to study the templates and other characters. See how they're put together. Really study joints and bones to see how they bend and move. Once you understand how this all works, um, you're ready to design your characters. As mentioned earlier, I try to keep my characters bright, usually with big eyes, and I use a lot of textures. That's really just my style. Um, you, you don't have to do this, but um, always keep your target audience in mind. Preschool children are used to seeing things that are cute and innocent. So my style is really keep it cute, simple, and make them appealing to children. Everyone will have their own workflows. However, mine is um, do some research, see what's popular and what's current. Design in Photoshop, move the design into one of Cartoon Animator's templates, adjust the rig to work with my character. I then import into Cartoon Animator and then create the head 360 turn if the character needs it, they don't always need it. Um, fix any eye issues in the facial setup window. And once I've got the main first character working, I update the PSD to make additional characters. Um, I then use Cartoon Animator to animate. Um, use ready-made motions or manually keyframe movements. And then once the animation is done, I export it to After Effects via the After Effects plugin. I then comp the sequence a little bit more in After Effects and then do the final render. Another massive highlight about Cartoon Animator is that the technical and creative wizards at Real Illusion are always developing it. Um, there are always new features being added, new plugins being made available to help with the animation, face motion capture, leap motion plugins for hand animation, and plugins for full body motion capture. The 360 head turn a year ago or so been another huge update, and the content store has always been updated with new goodies. As a company, personally, I think they have the right approach and are very forward thinking. The new 3D to 2D motion update to Cartoon Animator is another fantastic way that highlights how Real Illusion are always developing the software. You can now use iClone motions in Cartoon Animator, and this really does open up the possibility to use thousands of 3D motions in the software and further enhance your animations. As already mentioned earlier, the After Effects plugin is a huge addition. Previously, I would render my characters out as a PNG sequence with transparent background. However, the After Effects plugin makes it even simpler. Simply click the AE button and then import the JSON file via the After Effects plugin. And all your characters will be brought in as separate sequences, background elements, and audio files. It really is as simple as clicking the button. In After Effects, you can then add additional elements, such as lighting, shadows, footage, anything really that helps you create your animation. It really does help you polish off your final video and make it broadcast quality. Hopefully this video has showcased why Cartoon Animator is my software of choice. I honestly think that it can be used to create children's shows of a broadcast quality. It's simple to use as well as very user-friendly. The pipeline between Photoshop, Cartoon Animator and After Effects means you can create multiple characters with ease. 
animate with ease, and also comp in After Effects with ease. The pipeline takes away most of the technical headaches other software can cause, which means you can be more creative and have fun making your animations.